Now let's add two more images, two more picture boxes here. Fall down to picture box. I'm gonna drag it again here one time for this player and one time for the other player, but I just like to use one first. Change the properties and copy it. So let's use this one. The one thing I want to change here is I'm gonna change the name and call it instead of picture box nine, I'm gonna call it player one just like that and what I want to do is I want to make sure that its size is going to be 72 comma 72 so it's 72 by 72 let's make sure it's aligned well here this is good now copy this and paste it so that we can put it on the other side next to player 2 now make sure that also you change on the second one the name because it has to be player 2. Okay, so now how do we show images inside? Well, that's very simple. Click the first player and you can go down to image property. Here's an image property. You can import an image into the project resource file or into the form resource file. Either one is fine, it doesn't matter. We just need to import an image. I got two images here that I built myself using paint.net. You can find any image you want to use as long as make sure it's like this one is here 64 by 64 this one too is 64 by 64. i'm gonna use this one for player one and i'm gonna use the other one for player two so click on player two go down to image click here import another image this one okay so now this is pretty much our complete form hit ctrl s or go to file save form one.cs just to make sure or here you can click on this icon save or save all icon just so that you make sure you have saved your work so far okay all right so what do we want to do next uh, we're gonna jump into code next probably easiest step is to actually click on one of these and see how the image goes in there so how about we do that let's highlight one if we select all of them like this and this is a shortcut select all of them like this and then go to properties and now we're going to actually try to add an event an event basically is like function a method that gets called whenever something happens like for example if the user clicks on an element we want to handle the click so click on this events and as you can see here there are so many events the most important one for us right now is click we can double click here and then visual studio will open up the editor for code window let's double click here and it's actually now called picture box zero so if i go back to my form design just want to make sure that they all got assigned the same name so you can see they all have been assigned the same name i mean ideally i i don't want to do that i just prefer to write the name myself because this might confuse you so let's do it again and let's try to make this instead on click so now we got on click right this is much better than the previous name so this means that all of them if i click on any of them i should get on click here all right so just to give it a test let's say message box to show something like sender the name well sender is an object Let's say for our beginning, just say hi there. Just for testing. Now control F5 to run it. Okay. If I click anywhere here on these, they're all responding to the same event. Cool. So now how do we know which one is the one we click on? So we can do this picture box P equals. Since as you can see here, the sender is actually the object we click on. But it's an object I want to make this a picture box, so that's easy. We can say sender as picture box because we know it's all attached to picture box objects. So message box that show p dot name. We just want to print out their name when we click on them. Control F five again. Click on this. This is picture box zero. This is one. This is two. This is eight, this is four, this is, okay, this is good. So now we actually know which one the user is gonna click on. This is important to do this, but 
I'm gonna show you an easy way instead of having to do in like a gazillion you know uh, if statement we can just do this very easy but for now let's see how we can actually set the images right one one way to do that is we can say p dot image equals let's just pretend it's all gonna be player one dot image remember that player one has an image so we can potentially try this test I click here or here or here. See, now we can set all player one. However, that's not what we want, right? We want to have like terms, right? Where it's either player one or player two. So that's what we want to do next. And then we want to do checking for winner, etc. But let's take it one step at a time. Okay.